So in volume, we have two basic ways of conversion tracking, the pixel, which is a cookie-based solution, quite simple, but not quite reliable, and also the postback. The postback is server-to-server -server communication. So whenever we have an offer from the third-party provider, we can give him our postback template, which also uses your tracking domain in volume. And there is only one mandatory parameter that needs to be provided in order to record conversion correctly, which is click ID. Simply, whatever we provide in the visit URL needs to be replaced and returned back to us in the incoming postback. So I will now manually replace it with an actual value. And there are also additional parameters which we can provide within the postback, like, for example, transaction ID. If we have any kind of upsells or few events performed by the same visitor, whenever we have a unique transaction ID, it will not be treated as a duplicate. We can also provide our payout value. So in this case, I will type 15 and the currency could be either set up in the postback or in the offer settings. And also we can specify the type of conversion, like for example, purchase or whatever we pre-configure in volume. We can set up up to 20 different custom conversion types. Now you can see exactly the postback configuration, which I have done. And I have also manually fired it in my browser to mimic the conversion from an offer owner. As you can see, nothing especially interesting happened in here because this is just a simple endpoint request we are doing back to our volume servers. But what is interesting in here, once we refresh the data, just after a few seconds, you can see already one conversion recorded. And there is this small indicator I've been talking about showing us that this campaign is profitable because the cost recorded for it so far is zero and my profit is $15. It's whatever I have specified in the postback URL. Also, as my event type specified in the postback was purchase, I also have a segmented information that the purchase conversion happened. Again, getting back to our granular reports, I can see which exact verticals and which exact visit parameters performed the conversion. So it is attributed correctly to our first initial visit. What is interesting in here that I have shown you only a simple campaign creation with one offer. As I've mentioned, we can do the AI splitting or A-B testing in volume. So if you need to verify which of your offers performed the best, you can simply add few of them to your flow and either divide them equally or you can manually specify how much of the traffic from the campaign will go to which offer. Also, if we convert our campaign to advanced form, we can set up so-called rule-based paths where we can redirect visitors based on the visit parameters. So, for example, I can create a simple rule which will be called unique and my condition will be the uniqueness of the visit. So whenever the visit is unique, I can redirect my visitor to a certain path. And whenever those conditions are not met, all the other traffic is redistributed to the default path. And as you can see, also within the default paths, I can create and uh, divide the traffic I can set up up to 50 rule-based paths with each one se uh, sending to different landers and offers or offers only or listicles and up to 50 different default paths, which ends up that within just one tracking URL from volume, you can have over three and a half thousand possibilities of redirecting your visitors dynamically by our algorithms based on the conditions you set up. What is also interesting, you don't need to dig into your granular reports manually. You can save a lot of time using our outer rules. 
So I will show you a simple example. I will set up a really simple rule. So I'm creating neural, I will call it alert. And I can specify if I wish to send an alert per offer, per a specific dimension or vertical from the traffic source or per specific campaign. So I will choose all campaigns from my WeChat's traffic source. I can choose whether I want to send this alert to my mobile or desktop or to my email. I can select which volume users should be notified and I can go to the conditions section. So I'm setting up a simple rule which will tell me whenever the number of visits is higher or equals 1000 and number of recorded conversions is lower or equals 100, which in simple means, in simple word means my ROI is around 10%. This is not very good result. So for those conditions, I want volume to notify me to take a look um, into a specific campaign. I can also choose my time frame and frequency. For example, I would like volume to test last 48 hours of my campaign and do this check every four hours, excluding one last hour because it might be unreliable in the terms of 48 hours of traffic. So whenever I save it, it's by default enabled in here. And right now in four hours, we will do the checkup of the last two days of our campaign. So from my point of view, the last thing I would like to show you is this automatic reporting back to the traffic source. So if I get into the granular reports of a campaign again, I can look up all my conversions recorded. So I can see which, con which conversion type I have recorded, when was, what was the traffic source for it, when the initial visit took place, and when the conversion actually happened. I can also see some specifics from the traffic source, volume unique click ID, the transaction ID and the revenue. And also I can see that by default outgoing post bug URL. So volume will trigger this immediately after recording a conversion. So that rechats will know that for this visitor with their unique external ID converted. So their algorithms can then help you to target your audience better based on those provided metrics. And from my side, this is actually all, and I'm giving Mike my, my back to Daria. Thanks, Emilia and Rodosla, for all this information. I think it will really help our advertisers to set up post back properly, and they will understand how it is important to create the campaigns with ad platform uh, with post back. Uh, okay, I would like also to mention it again, um, you can also, during all our speech, ask the questions in chat and we will ask them during Q&A session. Now I would like uh, to start my part. Uh, I would like to show you our account and how you can um, uh, use the link from volume on our site. Okay, it is our account rechats. Uh, in the field tracking, uh, you can see what pluses do you have when you use postback. It is automated rules, micro bidding, target CP, or auto CP. Um, we will click here, set up tracker. And now I will show you. One minute, please. And now I will show you all tracking system with which we are integrated with. It is volume, binom, key, tarot, be more per, per click. Um, you can uh, you can click here and read how you can set up uh, post back on the site of volume. Uh, you can um, give us information about main conversions or approved or, or and approved conversion. It means you can give us information about two actions. Main conversion, it can be lead, order, email, submit, install, registration. Approved conversion, it can be lift, lead, approved, purchase, sale, deposit. Uh, it can be good for the offers uh, that needs uh, two actions, um, for example, gambling or betting. Uh, 
When we have uh, the link from volume, we can test it to understand how it works. Uh, was it set up correct? Uh, because if it was set up incorrect, you can um, waste your budget. So when you have the link from volume, you can uh, uh, go here and you can see test conversion tracking. This link you should uh, uh, put here and then uh, click make a conversion. After this action, you will go to your landing page and uh, do uh, test conversion. Uh, when you did it, you return to this page and click refresh. When you click refresh, uh, in conversion counter, you will see one conversion registered in the last five minutes. So when you understand that it is good, that it is working, you can create a campaign. And we, sh we are sure that our link is good. Today, uh, in our webinar, I would like also to tell you how you can set up the campaign with us and what options and what features you can test when you have both.